guys. <laughs>
After starting the book, I discovered there was an update to the publication where portions had been rewritten. I decided to move forward and complete the version I started and then do a comparison to the update. I am reading the update now, so my final rating and review will come once I've completed it. If I were to rate this version, I'd be very torn. I think I'd give it a 3.5 rating because while the story is intriguing, it doesn't feel like a romance. It seems like more of a paranormal saga than a romance. Because I am wanting to do a comparison, I won't go into many other details about this version. I look forward to seeing how this all plays out. So yes, um, in the midst of me reading this, there was an update um, to the book. So I have the updated version, but I wanted to read this one first just so I could do that comparison. And once that happens, I'll be getting back to you guys. The last thing that I read and completed in the month of April was Ready, Set, Grit. I gave it an overall star rating of four. And what's so great about this book is I actually met this um, author online, did an interview with them. It was very exciting and I am going to get into my review. I was excited to pick up this book after having a chance to meet the author. I found her words in person to be very inspiring and thus was encouraged to pick up her book. I will admit that while this is a relatively short read, it took me longer to read than expected. I think that despite having an introverted personality, I've never really lacked the know-how to say what I want or pursue it in some way, which is a major theme of this book. I appreciate everything I read in this book, even if it wasn't a message I needed at this point in my life. Still, I recognize that I may not always be so certain, and I like the idea of having this book as a reference should I ever find myself lost and without purpose. Straight away, I adore the simplicity and the clean look of the cover and the catchy title that serves as more than just a title. Ready, Set, Grit is also how the book is broken down into three parts. The chapters under Ready help the reader get in the right mindset to discover their passion and or purpose. The set chapters help the reader find resources and find a community to help them achieve their passion and or purpose. Grit, the grit chapters help the reader to take the necessary actions to live out their passions and or purpose. <laughs> I love that the book is very practical and personal with the author speaking to the reader directly and sharing insights from her own experiences. I love that there are inspirational quotes throughout the book, as well as some inspirational stories shared by others the author interviewed. At the end of each chapter, there is a page of reflection to give the reader a chance to try out, um, to try out some or put into practice some of the theories um, the book offers. It's difficult not to say too much without giving the whole book away, but I definitely think it's worth picking up for those who want to pursue a passion, even if they aren't sure what that passion is just yet. Recommend it to entrepreneurs, hobbyists, and want to be adventurers. So yeah, this was, I really liked this book. Um, it's funny when I went to review it on um, Goodreads, it's listed as a Kindle review, but I actually reviewed the paperback version. I couldn't find the Kindle review. I'm not saying it's not out there, but so <laughs> I believe on Amazon where I left that review, it's a paperback review. So anyway, that's what I read in April. And that's how I'm doing on my Goodreads challenge. I am going to wait until June to give an update on my whips just because, well, I'll go ahead and mention this since I am doing this one video. This is all wrapped in one. Um, I entered a short story into an anthology contest and I am one of the finalists. Um, if I win the big prize, you know, I'll get money. If I don't win the big prize, I, I, I think I at least get like publication. So that's, that's nice. Um, I, again, a lot of times I will enter short stories for like anthologies and magazines. And I basically just do it so that I stay in the practice of submitting. I don't ever expect to actually, you know, win or anything. Not that I don't think I'm worthy. I totally am. But you just have to think that a lot of times there's hundreds of people submitting at the same time. So anyway, that's kind of my whip update there. Um, of course, I'm continuing to work on my other stories, but I'll give more detail about those. There have been some changes, so that'll come in June. And the last thing I want to say before I wrap up this one video that I'm going to be squeezing in for the month of May again, sorry about that, um, especially considering what I'm about to say next. 
I am very close to reaching 100 subscribers. And I just want to say thank you all for anyone who's watching this, for subscribing and supporting me in any way, whether it's just, you know, subscribing to the channel or if you've joined my Patreon community. Either way, I am just so grateful that I can't believe I'm close to having 100 people <laughs> um, subscribe to this channel. Um, so with that said, once I do reach 100 subscribers, I will be able to start doing like live content. So I would love to know if that's anything that you guys are interested in. If you want to leave me a comment below and just say, yes, I'm interested in live content or no, I'm not. Um, if you are interested in live content, what kind of live content are you looking for? I'm also going to be kind of posing these questions on my blog and to my Patreon community as well, just trying to see um, what people are interested in or not. I just think it's you know cool that if I do happen to somehow get 100 subscribers and that I have this feature, should I even be using it? Anyway, that is my video for the month of May. Um, I, I would normally have more stuff coming, but I am just kind of struggling right now, dealing with the pain in my shoulder. And so I just know that it's going to be a lot for me to do that. So thank you guys so much for sticking around. Hope this wasn't too long. I, I know I like speed read those <laughs> book reviews, but this is my video for the month of May. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day and, you know, there's someone out there that you consider a mother that you sure how much you love her. And if you're a mother, I'm sure someone hopefully um, showed you how much they love you. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe and be blessed.